When you hear, you give authorization for your faith to function in places it's never functioned in. In spheres you've never functioned in. In circumstances you've never functioned in. In everyday life that it's never functioned in. We're having, we've got to get understanding then of some of these scriptures that we, that we have heard most of our adult Christian life. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yeah. It authorizes your faith to come, to function in areas it's not been able to function in yet. It's a picture perfect time to prosper. So I'm going to call this message today, and I'm going to have to get a little bit mean. I'm going to call this message today, Don't Mess With Me. Don't mess with me. I've got authorization for my faith to work today. Don't mess with me. Don't tell me nothing's going to change. Don't mess with me. You believed a lie. No, I haven't. Don't mess with me. Many of your prayers haven't got answered. Don't mess with me. This is 2023, the last time I checked my calendar. 2023, I like to break it down. 20 means this. Moving from poten- I'm talking about in the Greek, in the Hebrew. I'm talking about 20, just the number 20. Means moving from potential to actual. Moving from potential to manifestation. Just like a seed goes in the ground. But it has potential. And if it's watered and the sun comes. Then it is going to go from the potential of the seed. To a manifestation of the harvest. 20. That's 20. We're moving. That is what time Time is always moving. There's always a transition in uh, time. So we're moving from potential to actual, from potential to manifestation. So we are moving. Gimel there, the, the face of Gimel, the number three in Hebrew, is um, camel. Like we've got a camel over there, but it's... It, it refers really to what a camel carries. It carries prosperity. It's time for prosperity. It carries supplies and food and water and, and blankets and tools and, and it carries wealth. So 2023 is a year that I say, don't mess with me. I operate in wisdom. Don't mess with me. It's time to triumph. It's time to prosper. Don't mess with me. Triumph or prospering means to conquer, to defeat, to overcome, to overwhelm. And it's time to do that. It's time to conquer fear. It's time to defeat discouragement. It's time to overcome sickness. It's time to overwhelm all of the lies that are floating around in the air, just waiting for somebody to act on that. It's time to prosper. Don't mess with me. And in order to triumph, we got to develop a winner's attitude. We've got to adjust to adversity. We've got to be creative and cunning. Don't mess with me. I choose the direction of this pivotal year. Circumstances don't choose. Politicians don't choose. Culture does not choose. I am not a prisoner of that. Don't mess with me. I operate in wisdom. I, I, it is time to prosper. It's time to conquer all the fear and all the discouragement and all the sin. It's time to move past all of that. 
So in order to prosper, in order to triumph, there is a battle. There is a confrontation. There is a stand. There is a contest. There is a mountain. There is a river. I don't know what's on top of that mountain, but I'm going up. I don't know what's in that river, but I'm crossing over. Caleb said, give me this mountain. He had to fight. The greatest giants lived on that mountain. Joshua said, we're going to cross over. We're going to cross over now. I know it's at flood stage, but we've, we're going to cross that and we're going to get to our covenant uh, land. He didn't listen to the news that said, turn around, don't drown. He didn't listen to that. He said, we're going over now.